Welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev. So glad that you're here. Um, we are diving into some trade scenarios and uh, uh, today we're going to be talking about Connor Bedard. Now you're saying, say what? Like he's not getting traded. Well, listen, Canucks fans were angry that we lost, we didn't tank properly. We're angry that we lost out on Bedard by one stinking lottery number and uh, there is rumors going around, people doing scenarios on how to get Bernard. I know that it's it's very, very, very unlikely, okay, but I do want to talk about this one trade that came, that is kind of surfaced, and I don't know who originated it, I have no idea, whoever did the credit for it, it's, it's quite creative. And so we're going to dive into that. Last video I did was uh, Marner for Miller, and man, the, 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 the backlash for that video was insane. Um, it was just an idea, but uh, Toronto needed to change something in their core. And then I thought, well, hey, they need a they need a gritty player. So what what do you think about this? You know what blew me away about that video was how many Canuck fans absolutely said, "No way, we want Marner, the snowflake." For the, he's terrible in the playoffs. But Leaf fans were like, keep dreaming, Canucks fans. He's a top 10 talent. And it's like, yada, yada, yada. And so the Leaf fans and the Canucks fans didn't want it. Okay, let's dive in though here to this one. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe, please do right now to appreciate the support. So this is, now you're going to say this is ludicrous. Okay, It's a three-way deal. Chicago, Vancouver, and Pittsburgh. Maybe you've seen this one. So let's just see, like, is this absolutely outrageous? Now, if if Chicago trades uh, Connor Bedard, they're going to get a lot. So look at this graphic right here. Okay, so made this. Uh, so this is what Chicago gets in return: Beauvillier, Ratu, Hoaglander, uh, Poulin, and then look at these first round picks: 2023 first round pick from Pittsburgh, from Vancouver. This both this season coming up. And um, this then first rounder for 2024 and the, <laughs> the 2025 first rounder from Vancouver. Now Vancouver would get uh, Granlin and uh, who's a centerman, and then the first round pick which from Chicago, which end up being Bedard, and then Pittsburgh would get J.T. Miller. So basically, Pittsburgh gives up Granlin, Poulin, and their first, and they get Miller. And uh, Vancouver gives up uh, all these other things on all these draft picks to get Bedard. Now, at the beginning, you're saying there's no way they would ever do this. Well, if you think about it just for a moment, I don't know as a Canucks fan, like, you, I, I would pull the trigger on this deal if I had the opportunity for sure. Okay, so no doubt about it. But it might not be in the best interest for our team. But it, it, I don't know. It depends on who you can find to fill some of those spots. And we're going to go into some Canuck lines in a second. I know that Pittsburgh wants JT Miller, and that would be incredible, right? So, but look at this for Chicago from Chicago's standpoint just for a second. Okay, Beauvillier, solid left winger. Ratu, who knows what he's going to develop in. Great prospect. Uh, Hoaglander, long shot. Poulin, probably... I don't know, he, he has potential, but those four first round picks, here's the thing about, it sounds good in theory, right? But you want it, like Bedard's a generational player. My question is, if you could get Connor McDavid, and this is what you had to give up for Connor McDavid, you would do this in a heartbeat. So that's the kind of talent we're talking about, that he's going to be generational, he's going to be incredible. Is he going to be as good as... McDavid, Drysidle, um, you know, fill in the blanks of the, the guys who are at the very top of the league. Um, this is what they're expecting Bedard to be. Um, and uh, all signs so far have said, now we hope he's not an Alexander Dagg or, you know, um, you know, some of the busted Oilers first round picks over the years. Uh, uh, that That is would be worst case scenario, but he looks like the real deal. So... Of course, as a Canucks fan, we're like pulling the trigger. But 
if we did, let's just say we do, and which this is not being offered, just it's just a scenario, okay? It's the off season. So this is what the Canucks lines would look like if if we made the trade for Bedard, okay? So hoping that Mikheyev comes back, he would play on the top line with Pedersen and Kuzmenko, and that would be a pretty good uh, line. And then the second line would be Bedard with uh, Giuseppe, and then with Brock Besser, not bad, not bad, not great. Um, and then Pud Colson, Amon, and Garland in your third, and then Joshua, either Sidnika or Dries or Kratz, Kratzoff. So um, that that's what the, the team would look like. And when you look at it, it's like, that's not bad. It's it's not great, but then you start filling over the years as Bedard gets older, and uh, you could make this team actually quite good because wingers are a lot easier to find than centermen. Okay, now, if we don't make that trade, this is what the Canucks lines look like now, right? A and it's going to be Beauvillier, Pedersen, Kuzmenko. Now, I did, I do think that uh, Mikheyev is in there somewhere, so he might be on that top line. They might actually put him on that top line with uh, Pe with uh, with Pedersen and then move Bavillier down to the second line. It all depends on what they would do here. But Giuseppe, uh, D. Giuseppe, uh, with, with Miller, uh, Bro Brock Besser, you know, these are some of the lines. Depends if we keep these guys. Pud Coles, and then you'd have our first round Hopefully we're drafting a centerman at 11th, and then Garland, Joshua, Amon. You know what? What? Which one of these lineups would you like better? Um, and I, I'm a huge JT Miller fan, but man, if we could get Bernard, I would do it. I would just pull the trigger for sure. But. What do you think it would take to realistically get Bedard? And <clears throat> would you give up that much to do it? Um, it's just something interesting to think about. Of course, I don't think. Listen, some someone's going to post in the comments, keep dreaming, you guys are so out of the... Yeah, dude, <laughs> I don't know about you, but we haven't made the plows in how many years? we got to start talking about next year already, and the season's not even over. Is anyone even watching the semifinals and finals? I don't know. A lot of people are disappointed in the teams that are in there. But anyways, post even in the comments who you think is going to win the Stanley Cup out of these four teams. So... Anyways, what do you think about this trade? That's what I really want you to post in the comments. Please uh, think about it, and uh, do you think it's realistic? What do you think? If it's not realistic, what do you think would need to be given more? Do you think the Canucks are giving up too much? Do you think Pittsburgh's not giving up enough? Um, not getting enough? If like, wh what do you think? So, have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe, and always, of course, go Canucks, go!